One of those. Okay. So, they, they, they did all of this to convert My Little Pony from a pony franchise to a human franchise to make money off of little girls by selling them human dolls. Instead of like pony dolls, they wanted to make they wanted to change the market, so they had come up with this contrived thing where you would send the ponies to the other dimension or one of the ponies, and then they're a human in high school, which doesn't doesn't make any goddamn sense, because in their own world, right, you know, they're old enough to run businesses, own property, they're they're not children, they're young adults, they're like in their twenties, I would say. At the very least, at the very least, 18 or 19, okay? Because they, they run businesses, they, 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 they go to work, you know, that sort of shit, right? But all of a sudden, they go through a portal and, and they're high schoolers. Which, I mean, like, I guess that would be a thing in Japan, too, because Japan loves to turn everything into high school girls. Because that's the only time in their lives where they actually had fun, because all they do is work all day, every day. But still, this is America, okay? You don't have to do that. But you know what? They, they did do it because they wanted toys. And you know what? Fuck Flash Center. He's an asshole. I hate that guy. They made him just for the thing, just to give Twilight Sparkle a love interest. And you know what? She didn't need one. Fuck that guy. He's an asshole. He tried to take my wife. I mean, fuck him. It just he doesn't make any goddamn sense. Doesn't make any sense. And you know what, he's not even canon because they dropped him midway through the movies. And now, regular Twilight doesn't even remember who the hell he is. And then the, the Equestria Girls version of Twilight is off with some hippie. Like, it didn't even stick. Like, the, the characters don't even, don't even acknowledge him anymore. He was not a thing anymore, and for that I'm glad because fuck him. Anyways, that's not the point. That... Okay. Where was I? Oh yeah, so yeah, that that and you know what also grinds my gears about Equestria Girls is that they had this one character who was the villain in the first movie, Sunset Shimmer, who was supposed to be Celestia's student from before Twilight Times, right? And she actually turned out to be a good character. Like she, she, she had some good development, and she was she turned out to be a likable character in that universe, but she never went over to into the actual show canon, much like Flash Sentry didn't. And like instead of that, they brought another pony out there named Starlight Glimmer, who had basically the same role in some ways. But wasn't associated with Equestria Girls. And then she was in the show. And that's not, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Because Starlight Glimmer was a good character too in the end. I like Starlight Glimmer. But Sunset Shimmer had the same role. Why didn't they just bring her over to the main continuity. And have her appear there. Because I mean like they're basically in some respects the same character. In terms of their role and, the, and like the position that they fill on the show. They're kind of the same character. I don't I don't know. But that grinds my gears. It pisses me off. And fuck Flash Sentry because he's an asshole. And I don't like him. He's... I, no particular reason I don't like him. Fuck him. Oh wait, I already said that. F well, fuck him anyways. He's an asshole. I don't need my hood anymore. It's hot in here. I'm getting, I'm getting, I'm getting heated. That's what grinds my gears about Equestria Girls. And now that I've gone on my autistic rant... I think we need to investigate this Animango City and see what's up with it. <sighs> Scott, no, don't leave. You asked for this. Do not trust the Clover Wiki under any circumstance. It is run by fans and even had incorrect information during the 2017 version of Clover. That's a sign that probably would have been better put during the beginning of the game. But, uh, what can you do? This is a big place. This must be Saffron City. Okay, I'm full of Pokemon books. Oh boy, I'm so hungry. I could eat a Kenji on right now. What are you looking at, Squirt? Are you a vegan or something?
Am I supposed to catch a Kenji on and bring it to this guy so we can eat him? Oh my god. Hmm, your Pokemon look a bit drab and dreary, don't you think? But I know something that will perk it right up. I can teach it to use the move Dazzle Gleam. Want me to? No thanks. Oh. Well, you're lost, really. <laughs> Capture Horny. Welcome to this crazy town. Okay. Meme Man Rises. What is going on in this place? Every year, them developers build more of them damn fucking towers around my house, and every year, them sons of bitches try to get me to sell out to them. And you know what I tell them every fucking year? I tell them I raised 12 little sumner bitches in this house, buried seven mass dog in the yard next to my wife. They ain't getting shit. Hey, kid, thanks for listening to my story. Not many kids your age will sit there and let me ramble. Here, have this. Obtain the focus band. Yeah, with this item, your Pokemon won't be going anywhere either when the sums of bitches come after them. Thanks, Gramps. Appreciate it. Trainer tips. Remember, there's no such thing as a bug, only hidden features. <laughs> yeah, how convenient, right? I hope the nurse's cheerific never evolves and just stays young and cute forever. What? I wish my blob boy was faster. He always gets to transform after he's attacked, and our region doesn't even sell focus sashes. The person over there is a degenerate. He has more than one waifu. That guy has a complete... What kind of person wouldn't want a harem of QD2D girls? <laughs> that each other's throats. Over 2D. <laughs> okay. Heal up my guys, dude. All right. <laughs> oh, finally, a Pokemon gym. Animango City Pokemon gym leader Snoop. The sky high Pokemon trainer. Where's Tuton? He's going to love this. It's lit, my fellow party rocker. See, I might be old, but I'm down with all the cool kids. You want swag like me? I can teach one of your Pokemon the move swagger. Just give me a gem so I can add it to my bling bling dog. Oh, thanks. No, oh, come on. YOLO, dude. Animango City. Fortune Slice of the East. This pink building is so cute. I don't like the smell it secretes, however. Caps Lock Prime. Can you see my stand? I named it Ground Control. So your stand uses it too, or is it developing? Cool either way. Oh, well, you got one eventually, right? That must be the kid that they supposedly... Taught Tulpa to. Me and my little sister moved here from Beehive. Turns out both of these cities are shitty. Can't I go one day without being stared at and called a cute Moe? <laughs> that poor little girl. All she wants is one day. One day. Octototal? What? CSGO Lotto is miles better than this game corner crap. Animango Game Corner, the playground for grown-ups. Dude, what is even here? Coins exchange for prizes, prize exchange. This is a big-ass town. Sewer Stinky, Stinky Sewer. I don't know if I want to go in the sewer. But seriously, though, this place is huge. I evolved my fishendism into an SJ whale, but now it just accuses me of rape. <laughs> <laughs> Route 17. Okay. Song Q. Doc. Th oh, thank you, Doctor. Find what you need at the Animango department store. A shortcut. You can walk between the buildings here. Really? Oh, you can. Okay. Holy duty. <laughs> why, why is it like a nuke? <laughs> Hi there, how's it going? This might seem like an odd question to ask someone you just met, but here it goes. Have you ever gotten a group of friends together and just, uh, beat the fucking shit out of someone? It really is an amazing feeling. 
You get the satisfaction of kicking the other person's guts in, but you don't have to put in all of the effort. You haven't? What a shame. Well, the look on the other person's face when they realize you have friends and you're not afraid to use them is... <gasps> Wait, I know! I can teach you a Pokemon the move beat up. That way you can live this feeling again and again vicariously through battle. You do want to learn it, don't you? No, thanks. No, no? What the fuck do you mean? You're just gonna stand there and shit on my passion? Uh, actually, wait right there. I have some friends I want you to meet. Nope, see you later. There are all sorts of advertisements plastered onto the buildings here. What, what exactly are they advertising? Yo, Asian boy. You look like you're a real hard trainer. I can teach your monsters one trick my Van Dash homeboys use to run from predators and other mean sons of bitches in the wild. It's called Grass Knot. The bigger they are, the bigger they are, the harder they fall, know what I mean? So you up for it? Nah. What, bitch? You tell me you're already real good at running from cops? <laughs> That's pretty bald for a kid like you. Oh my god. Wait, what the fuck happened here? Wait. I love scavenging panties. <laughs> are they just robbing this guy's plot? They're just robbing this guy's house. What the fuck? Look at this netball that I just found. When HP is low, be ready to throw. Okay. Throw to Pokemon, not me. Vodka is Russian for water. It's the foundation of life. True. Sissy, what the fuck's going on here? <laughs> like, oh my god. There's nothing on the top floor. Huh. It's pretty fucked up, dude. I got Articuno. I leveled up my Dragtini to a drag Dragonair. Oh, are you playing too? You playing Pokemon Red? Oh, let's go. Very nice. Hey, man. You got some of those good leaves? I'll trade you this coin amulet for three of them. But you ain't got enough of... What leaves? Hey, man. You got any weeds for me? I'll buy it from you. 500 apiece. Oh, you ain't got no weeds for me. I just stumbled upon a, ra a pack of drug dealers. Huh. Observatory. Want to change the ball you caught your Pokemon with? Come on in. Really? You could do that? Hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the observatory. Feel free to check out the view upstairs. Hmm? Anything I can help you with? It it's too high up. I feel way safer down here with my feet planted to the ground. All those suckers using 252... Special Attack 252 Space Sweeper Marley's Herds. Only viable build is Subseed with Toxic. Okay. Little less on the autism. Come on. Pokemon faint when they are killed. Yeah, no shit. Do you have the guts to go up there? Yes. I tried giving a metal coat to my Miasmer. To boost its steel type moves, but it's not working. There must be something different about the metal coats here in Fochin. Well, I don't need it, so here you go. Ooh. Maybe it only works on Pokemon you wouldn't think giving it to. Dude, now I can evolve one of my Pokemon. Up here is where my husband proposed to me. How romantic. I proposed to my wife up here because if I hadn't seen her naked through these be binoculars first, I probably would have never looked for and met her. <laughs> That's great. That's great. <laughs> oh, shit. Never would have looked for her to meet her. Oh, shit. Okay. Alright, so... Oh yeah, the alien evolves. The treasure chest... The alien and the treasure chest both evolve through Metal Coat. Sweet. I 
Okay. If you look really far off into the distance, you can see the foggy outline of Mount Clover. If I was a braver man, I would hike that mountain, but me and my six landshill can't handle the kinds of beasties there. That's because you have six landshill. What the fuck? <laughs> what are you doing? It's like, what are you doing, dude? I can see my house from here. You look through the binoculars. There's someone standing on that rooftop. What's that blue frog Pokemon with him? Those projects over there look shady. Why did they build the city's gym in the ghetto? <laughs> uh, oh my, there's some boobs in that apartment window. Should I really be looking? Yes. Uh, oh, okay, we're back down to boobs. The trainer's battling on Route 17. Awesome. Well, we got a metal coat. That's the important part. I don't know if we get duplicates, but I'm going to go evolve my alien. I want to get my Alamau leveled up to whatever it's supposed to be. <laughs> I installed a mod that made everyone here fat so I would fit in. Well worth $300 on Patreon. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Eh, you never seen a pair of breasts before? And you're how old? Jeez. <laughs> uh, fuck you, lady. Don't laugh at me because I haven't seen your tits. God damn. Fucking cold. The fuck? I wanted to change my Pokemon's ball into a love ball, but apparently they don't exist in this game. Don't like the ball you caught your Pokemon in? Or perhaps you're hatching eggs, but they're all in a normal, dull Pokeball? Fret not. We have Baltism Company who provide the service you need. Pay us $5,000. We've changed the ball you caught your Pokemon in. Now, without further ado... That actually sounded like a decent idea for the, uh... For that ball that... For the, uh... Pokemon that evolved through friendship. Like this guy. If I can get my friendship jacked up with Sayori... She'll evolve into something cool. Well, actually, I don't know if it's going to be cool, but... She'll evolve into something new. Here we go. Hey, Lamau. Should I evolve him at level 16? Is that something that we should really do? Then crash UFO at level 16. Compound eyes raises accuracy. You know, honestly, I'm never really going to use them. I'm just doing this for the po Pokedex, so... Let's see. Metal Coat. Go, Comrag! Metal Coat was used on Comrag. What? Comrag was evolving! Why the hell did we call him Comrag? Oh, uh, what is this? Dude! Your comrade evolved into Iwato. You what oh? What the fuck? It's not even an alien anymore, it's fucking jacked! Oh... Hold on, I wanna see what the... Psychic steel. Its armor is made up of metals out from this world. If angered, it will respond with you, what? And wreck its enemy. Also known as the Xeno Pokemon. I like I like this guy. You what, mate? BAM! <laughs> Alright, that's kind of cool. I like that. <laughs> oh, shit. That's fucking tits. Now we needed a second metal coat to, up, uh, to level up the chest Pokemon. Psychic and Steel, though, that sounds like a good type combination, but I don't know if it actually is. Alright, wh wh who did we... Who did we take out before? Oh yeah, my the abortion, myself. 
There we go. Thank God Emperor Palpatine left. Oh, he, he's still here, just getting hot in here. Scott had me going on a, on an autistic rant about uh, My Little Pony, so... Upon closer inspection, this door isn't real, it's just painted on the wall. Okay. I got I got super heated. Ass drug bag fuck. Oh, hold on, they made a, no, you're fine, dude. You're good. You're good. Uh, the wrong type of hot, you know. My friend is from Vietnam. He can't speak proper English. <laughs> he he he's, <laughs> he's from Vietnam, so all he does is ass bag fuck shit. Weeaboo shop, where's for your obsession? What the fuck is going on in there? There's a bunch of Tohos, there's a Goku. Yes, a new doll for my Toho collection. Hatsune Miku. These paintings are so lifelike. It's almost like they can jump out and get you. It's a painting of grass Pokemon swaying in a breeze. They appear to be enjoying the wind's gentle caress. Peace. Wild Dolores appear. What the fuck is that? What the ever loving shit? Wild Dolores vanished instantly. Can we still catch it? Uh, I'm gonna try a ball? Gotcha, Dolores is caught! What the ever loving shit was that? Seriously. Rare Pokemon Dolores. The mindfuck Pokemon. Its signature move, Fizz Bitch, has the power to strike down 30 ele Indian elephants from a single tree. The fuck is that? What? Seriously, what the fuck is this? <laughs> I don't understand the reference, but... Who made this game? 4chan. I'm all... I Fizzbitch is as good a name as any. I will name it that. Makes sense. Yeah. It's great, dude. It's it's actually really good. 